back to Houston, Texas. That is Felix Savone, the Cuban heavyweight champion who ostensibly is headed toward the ring to fight Michael Bennett of the United States. However, as you see him walking around with the Cuban delegation, that's the Cuban coach, Alcida Segura, they are chanting. And we have been told that he may not fight this fight, that they may stage a walkout, and Felix Savone may not get in the ring against that man, Michael Bennett, from Chicago, Illinois, who simply wants to fight. Of course, the Cubans are distressed over Juan Hernandez losing his decision to Gaidelov, and we have been told that Savone will not fight, and we see him leaving. We have been told that Fidel Castro, watching the bouts on the international feed, called and said, stage your walkout, and so Felix Savone will walk out, and that man, Michael Bennett, will win on a walkover, and the Cubans have said, we don't want to play anymore. How, how ugly is it when politics gets into sport? You see it again. The ultimate crybaby complex here. That you don't like what goes on, you wage your protest with the official channels and not to this level. And meanwhile, Michael Bennett is left with no place to go as the Cubans and Felix Savon leave. But of course, Michael Bennett will win by walkover and win the gold medal in the heavyweight division. The Cubans set over Juan Hernandez's decision and probably some other judging in this tournament, but they choose literally to walk out, and so Michael Bennett is the recipient of that in terms of a walkover win. Well, there is Michael Bennett, who would like to have a chance to fight for the heavyweight championship here um, in the world championships, but Dave, he will not have that opportunity because Felix Savone has walked out, and they waited the allotted three minutes, and it now Savone will be disqualified. Denied a great opportunity, Bennett, for this big chance here. Savone has had many. Bennett is denied right here. All right, let's go to Carlos Silva for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, we go to the next bout of the evening. Vamos al próximo combate de la noche. When the bell sounds, the man in charge, cuando suene la campana, el árbitro será from Greece. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the principals. First, out of the red corner, presentando el boxeador primero de la esquina roja from the United States of America. Help me welcome Michael Bennett. And introducing his opponent out of the blue corner, de la esquina azul from Cuba, Felix Savan. Mesdames, Messieurs, pour le prochain match, arbitre de Grèce. Well, there is no Felix Savone, obviously, in that blue corner. And Michael Bennett will end up winning by a walkover. Not the way he wanted to win the gold medal here, Dave, but that is the way it will come down. And Felix Savone, of course, has had many opportunities like this. This was the first for Michael Bennett. And getting a taste of what he hopes the Olympics will not be, but maybe the, the type of international tensions that come on. A phone call was made from Cuba, and there's no bounce. When we come back, we will have a chance to talk to Michael Bennett. All right, Michael, a very bizarre set of circumstances here. You get the win on the walkover. Your reaction to what happened? Well, I feel it was uh, just a tragic incident that took place. You know, it wasn't really tragic, but it, I was saddened by it because it made my mission incomplete because I really wanted to face Felix Simone right here, you know, and to, to prove to the world that it would have been a great fight. You know, Cuba versus USA, just that the heavyweight division is the most prestigious division there is in, in boxing. And I just, I'm sorry I missed the opportunity. Now, this has happened before throughout boxing and politics. This phone call came from Fidel Castro. Your thoughts on government getting involved in victimizing the athletes? Well, like I said, I don't have no comment on politics and religion, so I wouldn't be able to tell you that. I wouldn't be able to answer that for you. But as far as you now, where do you go from here? How do you count this up, and, and what do you do? Well, actually, uh, I just get prepared. Uh, hopefully, I don't know if they'll show up for the Cuba-USA duel next month. And uh, after that, I just keep training hard and get ready for the Puerto Rico duel and ready for the 2,000 boxing trials in February. Did you expect them to come out right until the very end, or had they told you that this was the way it was going to go down? 
actually I was kind of hoping on a wing and a prayer that they would actually change their minds and have a second, you know what I'm saying, thought about it, but definitely was <laughs> steadfast and wasn't no turning back with that guy. So, you know, he's been boisterous all throughout the tournament and everything, you know, and didn't look like he was having second thoughts. Well, congratulations on the run. You are the champion here? 